In May 1932, pioneering American aviator Amelia Earhart was the first woman to solo fly the Atlantic. Gaining global fame, Earhart made lasting connections with many Irish female aviators. In December 1927, Limerick-born Sophie Pierce, later Lady Heath, shipped her Avro Avian to Cape Town. Lady Heath departed Cape Town on January 5th, 1928, flying north towards Sicily and continued to Croydon, landing on May 27, 1928. A week after landing in Croydon from Cape Town, Lady Heath met Amelia Earhart, forging a lasting friendship. Lady Heath expanded her flying experience, co-piloting a KLM Fokker to Amsterdam. She was on Port Marnock Beach to see off Jim Mullinson's solo east-to-west transatlantic flight. In Lady Heath's honour, a 1927 Avro Avian was restored. Manahan-born Lady Bailey, taught to fly by Lady Heath, was the first woman to fly the Irish Sea. Lady Bailey achieved global recognition after her return flight from Croydon to Cape Town. Bought her DH-60 Moth biplane from Geoffrey de Havilland, shown here on the left. Lady Bailey won the Harman International Trophy twice, becoming the world's outstanding woman aviator. Following her solo transatlantic flight, Amelia Earhart meets Lady Bailey and other aviatrix. <music> Belfast-born Adelaide Cleaver earned her aviator certificate on the 3rd of June 1930. She had already completed an accompanied flight from Croydon Aerodrome to India from March to June 1929. In October 1930, her plane was shipped across the Atlantic Ocean for Adelaide's American transcontinental flight. <music> County Antrim sisters Sheila and Mabel Glass learned to fly in their mother's de Havilland plane. In 1937, the Glass sisters flew to and then around Egypt for the International Egyptian Aviation Meeting. Commandant Pauline Gower and the Air Transport Auxiliary Founders, Mabel Glass joined the Auxiliary in 1940. Flying for the Air Transport Auxiliary, Mabel Glass logged 45 hours on the de Havilland Mosquito and also ferried 70 Vickers Wellington bombers during World War II. Was County Mayo-born Nancy Carrigan influenced by Amelia Earhart? Modelling in New York to pay for flying, after just four and a half hours of instruction, Nancy had her first solo flight. Nancy, an admirer of Amelia Earhart, was captioned as Nancy Amelia Carrigan in the media announcing her achievement. In World War II, Nancy Carrigan went on to instruct trainee pilots. In the 1920s and 30s, these female aviators achieved global recognition, breaking barriers and captured the public interest. Please support our content creation. Subscribe for just two euros per month via the Ireland Made website. Mm -hmm.